Hi, I'm Royal V, and I'm here with another Japanese subscription box for you. And this time, that box is -da 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 Tokyo Treat, March 2016 edition. <laughs> so, only uh, two months behind at this point, so I really gotta uh, hustle and get in gear. So, um, something interesting is apparently in March, looking in their little um, magazine. They've got Hina Matsuri, which is the doll festival that, um, it says it's an occasion to pray for young girls, growth, and happiness. Hina Matsuri is celebrated each year on March 3rd, where most, most families go with girls, where most families with girls display dolls for the doll festival called Hina Ningyo. So, that's cool. So, the first thing I see on the top is, uh, barbecue scones. Had enough of those. Moving on. So, the next thing I see is something really cute and it's got Hello Kitty, which I'm all for. Oh, and by the way, happy May the 4th. Okay. Um, this is a bonus snack, it says. This month, each premium box will receive a mystery bonus snack. Which one will you get? All right. So we got this Hello Kitty thing. Looks like it's got puff corn cereal or something. It's it's either this one or cream colon or bake. Um, like those little chocolatey things. It looks like it was a cookies and cream one. Which we've had both of those before, but I have not had this. So I'm very pleased. So I hope this tastes good. It's adorbs. The packaging is adorable. I think it's supposed to be for, uh, for the festival, Hina Matsuri. Okay, so it's like got, it's puff corn with all different colors. Very cute. Green, pink, and white. So we'll try one of each. Here's pink. No flavor. No. Green. Hmm. Maybe. White. Not sure. Okay, now let's try them all three together. It's good. I mean, it's the tiniest bit salty, the tiniest bit sweet, but not really enough to go either way and not a significant amount. So, okay. But this would be great if you're just sitting there mindlessly eating, because um, I could totally put this whole thing away because it's just so inoffensive. But yeah, you know, it's cute as hell. I mean, look at that packaging. <laughs> so the next thing I see that I'm really excited about <clears throat> is a special edition Tohato Caramel Corn in pink. And this is Caramel Corn Peach Flavored Hina Matsuri. In honor of the well-known Japanese doll festival or Hina Matsuri, enjoy this delicious serving of savory popped corn that you can see for sale during the time of this particular celebration in Japan. <gasps> Whew, that was one long sentence. This caramel corn is combined with a peach flavor to give an airy and sweet experience with a burst of fruit. We think you guys will love it. Mm, okay, so you can see inside it's, it's the uh, normal white uh, caramel corn and it's pink too. So here's the pink the white. Hmm. Hmm. It's good. I like it. It's very light. Very light peach. Um, not overwhelming in any respect. Really good. Mm. Yeah, I like that a lot. Very nice. Mm hmm. All right, so now we come to the drink which looks like this. <laughs> okay, melon cream soda. This delicious beverage is insanely popular in Japan and we thought it would be a great refresher for you to enjoy the rest of your premium box snacks. Melon cream soda is a carbonated concoction of fresh melon and rich cream flavors to give you a crisp and flavorful drinking experience. Okay. I'm not a melon fan. Maybe I will be after this. Definitely smells like melon. Oh man, like like they squished a cantaloupe and put it in here. <laughs> I 
actually does taste a lot like cantaloupe. It's actually not bad. Not bad. Yeah. I mean, I don't love it because I don't like melon, but it's not bad. I mean, I, I guess I could finish this off if nothing else was available. <laughs> All right. So next up, we have some of these petite crackers. Bourbon Usuyaki Mix. Enjoy three types of flavors. Onion, tomatoes, and spinach over savory crackers that satiate and that salty craving that you have. A combination of these three flavors packed with a bourbon sauce. Taste gives an unforgettable experience in a cracker snack. Mm, sounds good. All right, so interesting. It smells like salad. So they've got like, is it three different colors? I guess so. They've got like a dark orange, a light, like cream orange, and a green. Let's see. All right, let's try them all separately. So the dark orange. Mmm. Man, when I first popped it in my mouth, it's like Lipton onion soup mix. Mmm. Kind of tastes like that. It's actually really good. Mmm. I could eat the whole tub of Lipton onion soup mix. Oh, so bad. Green. Tastes like just like a rice cracker. Maybe a little bit of soy sauce. Nothing significant. Okay, and the light cream color one. It tastes like another kind of dip. <laughs> These are like dip crackers. Um, well, they're all great. Honestly, I am definitely gonna finish this because it's wonderful. Very good. So next up, we have something that I think you only get in the premium box. It is a sushi magnet. And it says, Reality Sushi Magnet. For the month of March, we would like to introduce you to a super special item available inside premium boxes. These sushis are adorable magnets that look like the real thing. They are a very popular item as a souvenir for travelers. You will get one of uh, the following. Tuna, egg, salmon roe, shrimp, sea urchin, fatty tuna, bonito, and seaweed roll. We think you guys will really enjoy these. All right, which one is this? Is it fatty tuna or is it tuna? It's not sea urchin, it's not egg. It's, I don't think it's bonito. I forget what bonito looks like. Okay, so here it is. It's either tuna or fatty tuna. I don't know what the difference is. I wasn't a big tuna eater uh, of sushi. I like sea urchin. I know what sea urchin looks like, so. Really cute. Let's see. It's not metal. Scissors. There you go. Ah. Okay, cool. Next thing up is this. Looks pretty. There's a lot of pink in this box again. I'm, I'm liking that. <laughs> All right. So it is Tyrol Sakura Shiriejo. Or Shiriejo. These robust and luxury candies are made and inspired in the shape of the Italian panna cotta dish. Enjoy a hint of floral sakura blossom flavor mixed with cherry to give you the true Japanese feeling of spring. Perfect for giving as a gift to friends or enjoy yourself. Mm, okay, well, I'm going to enjoy myself. Oh, all right, so they're individually wrapped. So you get a bunch. Oop. All right, so they got, they're really cute. Really adorable. Pretty picture on them. Oh, kitty. Kansu, come here. He's going crazy. Which is weird, because it only really happens at night, but he's going crazy, and it's like the morning, so I don't know. Anyways, it just looks like a little present wrapped in white chocolate. Uh, okay. It's like a jelly. Hmm. It's a weird flavor, this Sakura. Um... I kind of get a hint of like black licorice. To me, it tastes a little bit like black or licorice, which I don't like. But it's also fruity, a little bit of floralness to it. Yeah, I still just get like black licorice, but not full offensive black licorice. 
Hmm. Hmm. So now I see we have a DIY kit in here. Really adorable, whatever this is. Crazy's Kneading Land Grape Soda. Enjoy playing with your food? We have an awesome DIY kit that we know you will love. This candy kit features grape flavored fondant in various colors that you can shape into whatever you like. Kit comes with instructions to make a couple example designs, but you could even make your own unique designs. Cute. Now, I'm one who likes to work with polymer clay. I made a ton of stuff over the years, like really cute little like kawaii things. So I could probably do some damage to this kit. So yeah, I'll have to do that at some point. Really neat. All right, so the next thing up I see is this. It is strawberry wheat chocolate. These delicious nuggets of candy are made of some, are something confectionery dreams are made of. Enjoy puffed and crispy wheat biscuit dot dipped in decadent strawberry for a sweet treat you will not be able to resist. Made with a subtle flavor so that it is not overwhelming on the taste buds along with cute pink flavor makes the snack appeasing to the mouth and eyes. That's what I say. It's adorbs. Looks like little uh, pink raisinettes. <laughs> okay, and that's exactly what they look like. Little pink raisinettes. Ah! There it is. Mmm. Kitty, come here. It's good. It almost tastes a little stale. Mmm. I still eat the whole thing, no big deal. Because, I mean, it's just so inoffensive. Hi, Bubba! Say hi, everybody. Hi. <laughs> Come here, baby. So, yeah, that was pretty good. I mean, it's it's like nothing. I mean, you could just eat it and you wouldn't get offended by it or anything. So, speaking of adorable kitties, we have this. You cannot get in this box yet. I'm not done. <laughs> come here. Come here, come here, come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. We're not done yet. There's still stuff in there, okay? Anyways. This is Puni Fua. It's hard not to be happy with old grape taste gummies. That is seriously the name of it. These luscious gummy snacks are the most adorable and most enjoyable. Enjoy the soft, creamy texture of paw print kitty shaped gummies that are paired with an old age flavor of grape that will brighten your day and put you in a happier mood, perhaps. Enjoy alone or with friends. Well, I'm pretty sure I had these before because I remember squeezing them thinking, this is just like squeezing a cat's paw, which is everybody loves to do, don't they? But I don't remember if it was great that I had before. <laughs> it's adorable. Look at that. Really? Papa, get your ass out of the way. Thank you. Okay. There. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. So cute. Lightly dusted with sugar. This is like a kitten's paw, honestly, because Papa's paws are bigger than this. Mmm, -hmm. good, really good. Yeah, yeah, I like that. I like them a lot. Good stuff. Next thing up is Hai Chu. Whoops, sorry, Pupik. By Morinaga, and this flavor is kumquat, honey kumquat. This unique chewy candy is a limited edition from Hai Chu. Enjoy the soothing, soothing flavors of honey and kumquat that will ease through irritation and are also are delicious to the taste. Savor at your own pace, enjoying the mixture of sweet and sour flavors. Well, isn't everything that you chew enjoyed at your own pace, really? So, this is like orange looking. It smells kind of weird and artificial. It's citrusy. Kumquat is citrusy, apparently. Mmm. Do I taste any honey? Mmm. Maybe. It's good. I mean, it's fine. You would just think it was some regular citrus, you know, like orange, probably, flavor. It's fine, yeah. There's nothing wrong with it or it tastes bad or it's not weird or anything. So, yeah, it's good. All right, so up next, we have this Puku Puku Thai strawberry fish, which I have had many, many, many times for you. So I probably will skip this one up. <clears throat> this is called, this is what they, they label it. I want to gobble up strawberry, Taiyaki chocolate snack. This delicious pa <clears throat> package snack 
Looks like the traditional Japanese sweet pancake, taiyaki. Enjoy the miniature candy shaped like a fish that brings you an excited blend of airy strawberry chocolate paired with a strawberry icing filling. Very addictive. Yeah, well, I mean, we've had these a million times. They're so good. I'm not going to open it because it'll just go stale real quick. Um, we also had this, but not recently, so I will open this up, which is, looks like Hello Kitty Pocky, although they can't call it Pocky because it's by Kabaya. It's called Biscuit Sticks. So this is Hello Kitty Strawberry Biscuit Stick. For the Sanrio lovers out there, we have the ultimate sweet treat for you. Enjoy rich strawberry frosting topped upon crisp and delicate biscuit sticks in an adorable Hello Kitty package. The packaging is perfect for busy days when you are on the go. That's every day for me. Not really. All right, so really cute packaging. You can see Hello Kitty in the clear cello wrap. And of course, pink covered biscuit stick, which I know my husband will love. He loves strawberry anything, basically. So I'll give these to him after I'm done. If I can ever open it. There we go. Mmm. Mmm. Very good. Very good. Mmm. Oh, yeah. Nothing wrong with that. I ain't mad at it. All right, so the next thing up I see, it looks like cotton candy. Really cute. It is called strawberry cotton candy, as puffy as a cloud. Enjoy traditional cotton candy that you would maybe see at a Japanese festival or carnival. The strawberry flavor paired with the fluffy cotton feel to the candy is a nostalgic experience for almost everyone. Enjoy the perf that perfect portion in our Tokyo Treat regular sized box. Cool. Smells good. Whew. All right, so here it is, just regular cotton candy, just white. It's not pink. I swear to God, it doesn't taste like anything. I don't taste strawberry in this. How disappointing. If so, it's so subtle that um, I can't taste it, basically. Disappointing. But, you know, it's cotton candy, so it's all good. All right, our last thing in the box is this, and I think I've had this um, a couple months ago, and it was very good. This is Alfort's Mini Blonde Chocolate Milk Flavor. This delicious chocolate dip biscuit is light and delicious. Enjoy fragrant and yummy hand-scorched blonde chocolate combined with a luxurious butter cookie that will have you wanting more and more. Enjoy alone or with a special someone. So here we are. So Alfort has a ship, I guess, as its main uh, logo, or I guess that's always what's on these cookies. A ship sailing on the sea. There it is. Okay. It's pretty buttery. That cat. It's good. It's really good. Mmm. It kind of does taste like a butter cookie, but it's much better because it has these separate, um, like, buttery chocolate on top, whereas a butter cookie is just butter throughout. But this has the little tiny uh, butter cookie in the back, and then it's, it's of course, got the brown chocolate, brown sugar? Blonde. Blonde chocolate. I didn't know chocolate could be blonde. I used to be blonde. All right, well, that's it for this box, I guess. It was very good. My favorite thing in it that I hadn't already eaten. Mm, these crackers, these petite crackers, the uh, Usiyaki mix. Very good. I would like to call this the RLB's favorite dip crackers. Yeah, that sounds about right. Okay. All right, um, I will be seeing you real soon with another video. Bye for now.